And Governor Doug Ducey issuing an emergency declaration. This is for Gila Bend after this week's deadly flooding there. And we can tell you there are still about 120 people who live there who still have no place to live. As a result, there will be an emergency meeting there tonight at 5. And as people there work to clean up and rebuild, the Arizona Humane Society is doing what they can to take care of pets who have no place to go right now. I was there at their emergency shelter this week, and for the pet owners I spoke to, this is making a world of difference. Come on, Tom. They say dogs are a man's best friend, but 10 year old Ty, the Chihuahua mix, is actually a lot more than that to his owner, Denny. So he's like your baby. Exactly. These two are inseparable, even as Denny and the rest of Gila Bend deal with some of the most difficult times they've ever faced. It's really heartbreaking to see. Uh, people that you love having to go through what's going on. Deadly flooding sweeping through Gila Bend, killing two people and damaging 140 homes. While Denny and so many others work to get their lives together, their pets at least have a safe place to go. The Arizona Humane Society has set up a temporary shelter here at the old Gila Bend High School where they've helped nearly three dozen dogs so far, just like Miley who just gave birth to a litter of puppies days before the floods came. We're here to give them a safe, comfortable place and make the pets feel comfortable as well as the people because we know that if they don't feel comfortable, they may not evacuate. Every one of these dogs belongs to a human in Gila Bend, a human who is suffering through unimaginable loss. And that's why I hurt to know that some people have lost family. Puppy love may not cure everything, but Denny says the hugs and kisses go a long way. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. And the Humane Society tells me there's no exact timetable yet for when they will close this temporary shelter. For now, they say that they're going to stay as long as they have to. Also, I want to point out we saw a number of cots there at the gymnasium. And when I asked who was sleeping there, the Humane Society told me their workers are sleeping there so that they can be there 24 seven to help these animals. Another way to put these owners at ease who of course have just been through so much this week and a real testament to the people here in Arizona. We know how to stick together. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you for that story.